getting people on for conversation, I feel like this is a much more intimate way of meeting somebody than like drunk at a club. Like even like guys, you know, just like friends. This yeah. is a much better way of doing well, it. Well, I you know, I think it really stems from uh, our generation is tends to be a little bit more open with everything. So yeah. there's a lot less of the deflecting what you're feeling, don't want to talk about yourself. There's a lot less of the like machismo bravado. You or, think and, so? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I oh. think I think the whole idea of the quote unquote toxic masculinity is kind of died down with our generation there's no more like men aren't allowed to cry kind of bullshit like stuff really like that. so i think as a result you know we have an entire generation of people who are now in their late 20s early 30s who are much more willing to be open about stuff because there's no there's no there's no weakness in talking about things anymore you talking about like asian men specifically or just well, in general I, I think so with asians specifically if they are like born and raised in an asian country hell no right because that 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 has not translated across yet but yeah. for like the westernized ones then there's a lot more of the sentimentality and openness but i think we're starting to hit the point where maybe asian cultures in general will develop away from the kind of i have to be this stern patriarchal figure that has mm. like no emotional capacity and shows no vulnerability i think maybe in like two generations they'll be away from that but who really knows? Yeah, I mean, two generations is a really long time. It's it, like nobody's really a hundred percent sure what's gonna happen. But just based on what you said, I actually probably would disagree. You think so? Yeah, because I think we're roughly probably the same age. Like I was born nineteen ninety. I just turned oh, thirty. So I also turned thirty this oh, year. Oh, nice as well. man, pound it. Yeah, nice. there you go. Uh, was one month? April. Okay, so you got about four months head start on me. Um, but I actually would very much disagree because I feel like the majority of Asian men I know my age are not. More than previous generations, but still not what I would consider open. But then again, men my age in general. Well, I mean, the, again, I think it really depends on what kind of context that you're meeting them in, right? If you meet them in, in like, if you meet a bunch of dudes at the pub watching a Liverpool game, right. ain't no one there going to be emotional unless Liverpool loses. <laughs> we can all yeah, that's a different kind of emotion. So, like, but yeah. like, so, that's, so it depends on what the theater of the encounter is more than anything. It really depends on whether... Is it just like, hey, let's go hang out and talk? And mm. then at a certain point, even among really, uh, even among friends, like at a certain point, you can only talk about like your latest latest string of one night stands for right. so long before the conversation just naturally will stagnate. Right. So then at that point, you start talking about like, oh, well, like it's always it, you can always ease. It's always easier to ease into it with something simple. You can start with like, hey, like what are you? How's your job doing? And how are you feeling about sure, your job? Sure. And then that turns into kind of a. What are your professional aspirations? You really? Know? Yeah, I think it just takes a little bit of coaxing, but it's yeah. much easier to get that from younger, from people our age, yeah. than it would be from like our father. Dude, you should host, host this podcast instead of me, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you're much better doing that. Than-